Hello YouTube and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6 where we're building greedy Petras because this is my stream and I do what I want. I really hope we don't lose it though because that city's rubbish without the old Petra. Where do I need to scout? Scouts be scouting. I don't know, come up there I guess. Probably have more barbs to deal with. Thank you shots! Thank you. You guys get me. How you doing, man? It's good to see you. Happy hump day. Hump day live. Run away. Search for Petra. I don't, I don't have that good of scouting. Gonna make some trades. Try to uh, increase our diplomacy. We've had one war so that we could steal a settler. And that's about it. Wouldn't mind if that were the last one. That's an excellent city. <laughs> this guy's slowly going. Slowly getting there. More crossbows coming. Playing the most inefficient polling game. So much space to yourself, so sim, sim, sim. I'll take those games. They're rare. Take them while you can. So I get zero, I, I, I get, I get two jungle chops for the Petra. Okay. It's probably fine. We still need to go unlock it. That's a thing. But I think it's a lovely idea. <laughs> probably have to buy them tiles. Get a 2-2 two, two right away. Uh, maybe it doesn't hate me. <laughs> I should turn on the yields in that city. <laughs> uh, giving her iron is probably a terrible idea. Anyhow... Ooh, all right, I'm just doing that. We'll figure out our amenities later. I knew it. I knew there was going to be a barb there. got done watching Lord of War. <laughs> am I arms dealing giving out all that? Yes, I am. I'm trying to. I am trying. Oh god, the barbs are so scary. Stop it. Stop it. You're mean and I don't like you. Oh, sweet. All right, maybe I can snipe that. How are you not dealing with a barb camp that's two tiles away from you? <laughs> what, what, what a scrub player, huh? Oh, 
We're we're doing okay. Yeah, we're doing okay, Mira. And we're getting okay. So these are both done in four. So we'll get this Eureka, and then be able to start it soon. I've seen Petra go late. It's probably a terrible idea. The things I do for chat. I think I'm going to bring this guy back home. We're just not going to know the sixth person in the game. It's fine. <laughs> Poor Paris. This is a fantastically huge and greedy city, just the way I likes it. Who do I think is number six? Who's Buddhist, naturally? <clears throat> Maybe just, um... Yeah, maybe Japan. Could see Japan. Come here, could, this is a possibility. Probably the most useful suzerain is here, right? It's actually perfect, because we'll get first suzerain there as well, and then they'll help us with our amenities. I told you we'd solve our amenity problems. So that gives us two envoys here, and this will be our third. Kind of beats the faith right now. The faith doesn't do much. is the most complex history. Sweet. All right, so <clears throat> we really don't know where everybody else is. We got our Suzerain there because we finished our theater square. Our theater square is fantastic. Uh, it is plus five currently. And we don't get any benefits. So, so again, and this is, this is a to uh, when people ask like pantheons and stuff, this is something I talk about fairly often. Um, so if I'm repeating myself for you, sorry. Uh, but for, if you haven't heard it yet, one thing, one question to ask yourself with pantheons is like, is this helping me now? Uh, and ours is not. We're 100 turns into the game. We've gotten zero out of our pantheon, which feels really bad and is part of the reason I I feel like they, they need to be rebalanced. Um, but in the current state of the game, it's just you need to know to ask yourself that question. Building districts here for sure, and we want uh, reinforced materials. 
Yeah, Congo killing it with culture. It's going to be pretty rough as far as winning a culture victory. He's, uh, he's, he's quite good at culture. We'll have to probably spy on him or hope he dies. Hey, Eminem. Uh, I thought there was Soccer Man. I'm not sure, though. We may have not uh, updated it for this game. Plus five seems good, yeah? Picked uh, Divine Spark. Because they can get a campus over here. This is only plus three campus. That's plus three campus, so that seems good. And then that'll be five science for the remainder of the era. Assuming we get it in time, which we may not. But I like getting our gold economy going. It's decent so far. Back when we first met, uh, Divine Spark was his go-to pantheon that was used so often, uh, it almost felt boring to pick it. Was it nerfed, or is it? Or have the others just gotten better? It was nerfed. So it used to be, it used to give you the great people points for just getting the district down. Now you only get the extra great people points if you have like, it, it works for holy sites, but it's fairly irrelevant for a, for a religion game. Um, it got a little bit better for religion games, but for most other games, you need the first building first. So you either need the library or the theater square or the uh, amphitheater to get the extra points from um, the campuses and theater squares. So it's pretty bad. Pretty harsh nerf. You know, could build mausoleum here. One, two, three, four, five sea resources. So I thought, I thought I could debate with that builder, but I did it bad, so we can't. I could use this, actually. You only built mausoleum if the city has no sea resources. Hush, you. <laughs> you hush. Hey, friendly? Ah. Nice boost on mathematics. How about that? <laughs> These barbs are relentless. Absolutely relentless. Get <clears throat> turn 100. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Um. Guess I'll build that one because it'll give me a culture as well. Actually, I'm going to get a library here because, again, Divine Spark. Four. That seems good. This could be a Zimbabwe city. Well, it could have been until I placed this here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Meh. Uh, is it is it beneficial for streamer to stream VODs or watch on YouTube? Just curious when looking to rewatch games, which is more beneficial. Um, wait, what's happening, Kyle? What is that? What is that? I actually don't know. YouTube changes to policy. Okay, I gotta I gotta read up on that. Um, I don't know. I get a tiny tiny bit of ad revenue from Twitch. I don't run ads like during the live stream. I I, I just I don't want to. The the more things I do to like, I don't know. I I always want to be be behaving in a way that like doesn't limit my access. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of like forcing ads and stuff while I'm watching streams. I just figure like if one if that if that makes one person like not hang out that bums me out and stuff. So, I do get a tiny tiny bit there. I do get more on YouTube, but my YouTube revenue isn't like crazy either, so it's like whatever, man. Honestly, like the answer is whatever works for you. Whatever's most convenient for you, however you want to consume the content is quite all right with me. Yeah, no, I got you. What benefits the streamer more? They're they're both pretty insignificant like one person's ad view like ads work in cpm right cpm is like cost per thousand or clicks per thousand or or, or, or just money per thousand it's basically how much money you make off of a thousand views and you're only one view usually so and usually like that cpm is like a couple bucks so your view is worth a fraction of a penny kind of regardless <laughs> I appreciate you caring um, a lot, but I wouldn't stress about it. I just watch it whatever way is most convenient for you. If I were again beginning, and thank you for caring. <laughs> it's a big deal. That's really nice, actually. Yeah, the prime sub is 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 way more. I mean, th I mean that's that's just yeah. <laughs> that's as if you watched my my stuff thousands of times, you know. Sweet, Kyle. Thank you, man. I'm going to have to look into that. I'm going to have to look into that, man. Because that's kind of scary. I hope that doesn't affect us too hard. Alright, so Petra unlocked. Kilwa? Kilwa, huh? But we don't have city states that matter, and this is where, like, back when Norm and I were were doing content together, uh, this is where when he was like, "This is the best wonder in the game," I'm like, "Is it? <laughs> is it?" Uh, but we do have the continent split for it, so it's kind of interesting. We have one, two cities on our three city, four cities on our main continent. Only one, two, three others. No, no, no. I'll look into it on my own, Kyle. I certainly. <laughs> certainly not on you.
Okay, I like this. I think there's a lot, actually. Don't know if we'll be able to get it. So, city here, aqueduct, wonder, that benefits these tiles. We could even build the wonder here, maybe, and benefit even more of the, um... Instead of two, just two chateaus, it benefits even more. Although it blocks a decent chateau here. But I don't want to put... Yeah, I, I, it has to be like this. Because then this is a plus five theater square. Blocks a decent chateau here with the uh, double luxury. But also kind of whatever. If you guys can figure out a better way to do this, I'm all for it. I guess you could settle here, aqueduct, anchor watt, and get a super chateau. That seems silly, though. I I, I, I kind of don't like it. Oh, can an aqueduct even go here? That's a good point. I don't know. Because it's only the one side of the river. I hate I hate that restriction. I, it makes me hate aqueducts even more. <laughs> yeah, I think you're, you might be right, Zachary. I might not be able to actually build that. Can you watch clips of channels you've made on Twitch somewhere if this info stored are, or only clips you've watched? I don't know, Batman. I don't know how that works. It can go there. The riverside just can't be the side that touches the city. Oh, and since it won't have fresh water, it won't matter. Okay, good. Okay, good. Uh, probably not doing Kilwa things. Terracotta's a no. Just kind of looking at some potential wonders. So with France, it behooves you to get out of the bottom half of your tech tree as quickly as possible. Now, that, that being said, I still might want something like Forbidden City. Because, again, policies that are at a premium in culture games... Because you're forced into using three. So I guess maybe we'll do that and then think about going top half. Alright, so the next city... We'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This will be eight. And then nine will be this. And then hopefully later on we can... Um, Flip some more. Oh, he did settle one here. And you are immediately building an entertainment co complex. You useless, useless, useless man, you. So useless. All right, one more settler then. That's it. It's unique improvements. Whatever. Oh. What? <laughs> Somebody wants to snowball the game. Holy cow. Oh. <gasps> Y'all, we're getting a free city. Free Kerma. Free Kerma. Free Kerma. What? That's awesome. All right, so we're going to pick up a holy site and an encampment. Which is a thing, I suppose. <laughs> it's not even a result of me. How does Mat how is it Matthias? What is happening? Am I liking Eleanor? Um, 
I don't know yet. It depends what happens here. This is pretty lucky if this happens, right? Like, they're doing a double war against Nubia, and uh, first of all, Nubia losing wars when she's got crossbows is really weird. Uh, but the fact that he's got this city instead of uh, Congo, pretty, pretty crazy. And I assume that since they're both at war with her, like, they can't, he can't capture this. Oh, you're not even at war with with her. It's just Matthias? Oh. Interesting. That's why you love it, because you randomly get cities. I know, but this city sucks. <laughs> I'll go with that. Okay, so. Would, do we want Petra here? And then a plus four theater square? Or do we just want a plus two theater square? Put Petra here and improve three different chateaus. I think I like the Petra here and a commercial hub up here. Potential chateau spot, but like, whatever. I guess. Oh my god. Skirmisher is going to kill me now. <laughs> it's on an oasis. It has fresh water, Kyvera. <laughs> but yeah, this is what happens when you leave. That's why you should never leave. There's no way I'm getting the feudalism boost, right? We have zero farms. Cool. It's hard tech it. Bye, Ordos. So I always recommend get good districts when they're available. That is a plus five campus, and we are going to start it immediately. You can harvest sheep, yeah. Is it better to harvest them or mine the pasture? Uh, the population doesn't do squat for us. I'd rather do this. I'll have access to spices in any of my city locations? No. Uh, but we should be Suzer and Buenos Aires at some point. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, oh well. Does it say Petra because I can city? It's a Petra because I want it. I don't know if we can, actually. <laughs> it may not happen. And then we'll feel pretty bad. Feel pretty bad about life at that point. I'm going to work on Petra. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. I make no promises.
Yeah, but this one should be flipping to Nubia, right? Oh no, they're both flipping to me? <laughs> okay, maybe this is offensive. <laughs> Let's work that tile instead. Seems much better. I'm gonna lose this builder, huh? Did I not repair that? Is anyone else building Petra? Just me at the moment. But that can always change. Oh, that's weird, Buffalo. Huh. I don't know if I like that. That feels bad, man. So what I'm told is the fact that I'm getting these two cities is a bug. She's got black armies? Holy cow. It's terrifying. Oh, I did it wrong. Okay, that's actually a reload. Because <laughs> I screwed up my whole thing. I almost never reload. Ah, uh, we don't have to. It still works, right? We just we just put the theater square here. And then I get my super chateau. It's actually fine. It's actually fine. Plus three. I could just I could just put the theater square over here for all that for for that matter. No, no, no. We actually don't have to. It's fine. It clear it, it, it frees up this chateau spot too, which is a pretty good one. It just it it feels dumb to block a plus three district, but it's it's cool. We're good. I'll order you a bouquet of oopsie daisies. Nice. Nah, it's fine. I really I really don't like to do that, and that's my own dumb fault, right? And it actually works out. The Lord made this all out. Yay, I got him back. Cool. <laughs> Wish you would move. Well, <laughs> 
So... I mean, this seems fine. Do I have the governor that exerts loyalty pressure? No, that would be a super late game one for me to pick up, Violet. I still just want to win tourism. And I just lost a city to a barb. Well, we get a free one, and then we lost a good one. Ugh. That's impressive. That's impressive, barbs. Hello. Okay, so what do we get? Get an encampment. A holy site with a shrine. Okay. I don't think there are any grievances involved in that. But it means that I'll probably be able to flip the rest of these eventually. No, I have zero great works at the moment. But it, Buffalo said that this is a bug. Like, if you exert any loyalty as Eleanor, it flips to you, even even though it, it it's not necessarily who it should be flipping to. has to be receiving the most loyalty per turn from Eleanor and it and we get it even if that's not true. Like we could probably look at the loyalty lens. Like I kind of doubt that we were winning this one, right? Over the two here. Eh, I don't know, maybe it is working correctly. I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I'm having fun with Eleanor. It's an okay bug given how bad she is. It's uh, a little harsh, but probably true. You've had your fastest culture win with Eleanor? Nice. I can't believe I lost this city. I'm so pissed. He broke my theater square. I am so ready to get all the builders. I want to fix this first. Five culture per turns a ton. Yeah, perfect storm with two warring neighbors. Yeah, that's that's uh, that sounds about right. Sounds like a recipe for success with her.
I wonder if I should just get walls here. Probably. Can give you guys a second housing. He has a pretty massive army there, huh? Or should I say, heh? With the advance of feudal. Need to clear these out. So ridiculous. So ridiculous that we lost that. Ah, God, I can't believe I'm getting rid of that. Hopefully that sword, swordsman lives. Because I need surfed him in there now. Like a second trader here for Petra as well. Jesus, with the crossbows. Run away. All right, now I need one more stinking settler because of this nonsense. But I do want a St. Basil City. I'd love to get down here. It just doesn't seem realistic. Wait, did that just happen the way I think it happened? <laughs> All right, who knows what happened? Anybody? Chat? YouTube? Do you guys know what happened here? Because I do. No, no. Nothing to do with Stonehenge. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. What, what, what is wrong with this city? You may not have noticed it before, but it had something that it no longer has. Because of a weird sequence of events. Oh, Mayra got it. Mayra, you get a clappy. It had a holy site, but it got taken over by Congo, and so the holy site died. And now we picked it up, and so we didn't get a holy site. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. No, not because I don't have the tech, because Congo took it, and Congo can't have holy sites. So we need to grow. Congo.
Congo cannot have holy sites, and if so, if you capture a city with a holy site as Congo, that holy site goes away. We have two cities with loyalty now, actually, Chimera. Which is kind of funny. So that's a little sad. I would have taken a free district. I lost a city up no north to Barb's, yeah. So you gotta take the bad with the good. Nope, they can't have them at all. And there was there used to be a really cool bug with them that if you um, if you watch our if you watch our Congo game from last year's challenge, you will see. And I, maybe it was caused by CQUI, I don't know, but it was certainly a bug where. If you went to build a district on top of where the holy site used to be, you got all the benefits from it and the buildings that were in it. So, like, if if let's say the holy site was here, if we would have built, if we now build a theater square on it, it would have given us like the temple, the the whole like the whole thing. It was really kind of awesome. It was pretty cool. We're going to resettle the Barb City? Yeah, that's where I'm headed now. Not super happy about it, but it is what it is. A little worried about Congo. <laughs> He's got knights. If he decides to clear on me, we're probably screwed. I should probably stop giving him strategies. At first, I was like, oh, you're so far away. It doesn't matter. I don't have much to defend. I, I I guess I can get crossbows. So I'll save my money for those upgrades if we need them. <laughs> and we need them. Oh boy. Gulp. At least we just took his his money. I have mercenaries in three. Why don't you want to join? Why wouldn't he want to join? Well, all right, time to reevaluate and see where we're at. So it is time for a cut in the old video. Thank you so much if you're watching over on YouTube. I do appreciate it very much, and we will see you in the next one.